Ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, Haryana has its new chief minister and it is Nayab Singh Saini who was the BJP state president and an OBC leader. Along with him, Kanwarpal Gujar, Mulchan Sharma, Ranjit Singh Chautala, Jay Prakash Dalal and Banwar Lal have taken oath as ministers in Haryana's new cabinet. Manohar Lal Khattal and 13 members of the BJP, remember, submitted their resignation after coalition partner JJP stepped down, saying that they will fight solo in the Lok Sabha polls. Despite the rebellion of Dushant uh, Chautala led JJP, BJP and Haryana still had the numbers in their favour. After the split, BJP got 41 seats. Haryana, uh, the HLP has one seat and six independents continue to extend their support, giving the BJP a total of 48, BJP plus a total of 48 in the 90-seat assembly. Meanwhile, the opposition had just 43 seats in total. But what will be the impact, if any, on the upcoming polls? We take that conversation forward with Dr. Renu Bhatia, of the BJP, Nija Mishra of the Congress also with us, Raja Panjeta of the INLD also with us, Rishi Bagri with me and Gyanindra Mishra with me on the broadcast as well. Let me begin this conversation with uh, uh, Renu Bhatia, if I may. Renu Bhatia, uh, while Manohar Khattar has stepped down and uh, uh, Mr. Seni has taken his place as the new Chief Minister, a lot of uh, chatter now going about how there was anti-incumbency uh, an anti-incumbency factor against Manohar Lal Khattar, which is why he was asked to step down just uh, days ahead of the announcement uh, of the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, how does the BJP respond to that? See, when we talk about stepping down, we don't find the stepping down. It is a party change, karikarta change, and which is very official and which is very genuine at times. It is not that it has happened in the first time in BJP or uh, it doesn't happen in Congress or any other party. It's a routine political change which has taken place and which doesn't make any difference uh, or if we say that anti incumbency or any uh, thing lack of in, in any subject it was lacking with Manohar Lalji. No, nothing like that. It is a routine change which has taken place and I think it is uh, party's very genuine decision at times every karakarta gets opportunity every karakarta is equal to every uh, um, senior uh, senior authorities okay. and i think that has taken change Do dr Bhatia, then the second question arises that uh, haryana the state government was uh, anyway uh, up for elections uh, in october this year so why make the decision just uh, mere months ahead of the state assembly elections if uh, Manohar Qatar was in fact doing such a great job? See, it doesn't make any difference. It, this, these changes can be made anytime. Maybe um, Manohar Lalji will be upgraded somewhere or uh, the party needs him somewhere else for a betterment. So uh, it can be this way. It, it, it's not that uh, uh, before, because of elections this has been changed. It can be changed anytime. It's a pot party decision. It's a Karikarta Sangathan decision, which is, which we always welcome. Okay, Rishi Bagri bringing you into the conversation. Rishi, what do you make of uh, this uh, move ahead of the Lok Sabha elections? Uh, Nayab Singh Saini being brought in as uh, Chief Minister. There are rumours that Manohar Lal Khattar may be now offered to fight uh, the Lok Sabha election itself uh, and become a member of parliament. But do you feel that somewhere it gives off uh, uh, a message to the alliance partners of the BJP that are wondering, uh, again, like I said, a lot of chatter going around uh, of the fact that the BJP uh, just uses its alliance partners as and when it's convenient, given what has happened with the JJP. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh, uh, the thing is, you need to understand that BJP, in BJP, no one is above the organization. If the organization feels that a sitting chief minister need to be replaced and it will benefit the party and it can nip the anti-incumbency in the bud, it will do it without any hesitancy. They have done in Uttarakhand, they have done in Gujarat just before the election and the results were, uh, were fabulous. So I think mean, only in BJP, you can actually see a smooth transition from uh, of power from a senior, uh, you know, from a senior member to a junior member without any rebellion. I mean, in other party, it actually become a very, you know, become a very difficult exercise. I mean, uh, you can see the split, you can see the rebellion, we can see all this thing. But in, in BJP, you will see a smooth transition. And this is how they always do it. And this is not the first time the sitting 
uh, chief minister has been replaced by a younger member and we need to also understand that nayab singh saini is not a, like a green horn he has given 30 years to the party he his rise has been quite gradual and consistent he was a mla from narayan garh then he become the minister in the khattar government then he become the mp in the kurukshetra then he become the bjp president then he become the chief minister so the rise has been very consistent of mr uh, nayab singh and saini so i don't find any anything anything odd in that rise so you need to see and then i think that even haryana the next chief minister is also non jat uh this time it is a obc because they want to send a, a message that obc is important uh, we want to give that thing and so they have uh, the bjp has sent this message and now the problem with the congress is that they have to face jjp because they feel that jjp is going to divide their jhat vote and this is the problem they are facing because if some reshuffling is happening in bjp why congress is getting worried it is getting worried because they know that now jjp has become an independent organization it is nowhere no 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 one it is in the coalition with the uh, bjp now they are facing the jjp and the split in the jhat votes is very imminent that is actually you know uh, worrying uh, congress and secondly i mean you also have to see that in haryana when it comes to the lok sabha election uh the bjp has got almost 60% vote share in haryana hmm. uh, in the lok sabha but when it goes to the assembly the vote share goes down so obviously the modi magic is definitely there in the haryana but when it comes to the state uh, uh, leaders the vote share goes down so i think considering that thing considering the bit of anti incumbency and you need to also see haryana is a very volatile state before nda came to the power Yes. Haryana used to switch sides every 5 years uh, just like in Himachal just like you know Punjab and all the states so now that anti incumbency need to be restored uh, need to be you know stamped down uh, okay. at this level they have done this ex- exercise in Gujarat and they have done in the Haryana okay. so i think the result will be the same thank you okay gyanendra mishra bring you into the conversation if we're talking about then now a three way contest between the bjp the congress and the jjp in haryana uh, who does that benefit as per you so see there are multiple messages coming out from this change devika you know the first is that of course the bjp is hugely worried about its performance its performance in haryana in the next coming election and the estimation and the rough estimation and the guess on the part of bjp is that it is going to lose at least half of the seats that it won last time second it also shows the general trend on the part of bjp to use its allies when it suits them best and then dump it when the utility of the allies is somehow eroded which has happened here because as you see that jjp was now insisting on getting at least two lok sabha seats from haryana but bjp was not ready to given give any single seats to jjp third strategy out of it as as the division of the jhat vote because bjp is very clear that given the way the kisan andolan has been dealt by the central government as well as the brute force which has been used against the kisan movement by the haryana government there is a huge resentment in the chart community as well as the kisan community against the ruling dispensation and bjp was worry worry that you know the 30% 32% of the jhat vote if goes in consolidation to one political party which would be the congress in this case it could be in game changer so they have put now jjp as an independent party with an intent to divide the jhat vote so that congress does not get the full vote share of the jhat okay votes in haryana the fourth message out of it is that bjp is again trying to play and divide and rule play here they have kept one member of the chotala family in the new cabinet as well while dumping the another important member of the chotala family out of it 
so that the entire chotala clan as well as whatever influence they have on the jat vote and the sentiment of the jat vote does not go against the bjp and therefore one member of the chotala family you see is included in the cabinet he has always been given the huge importance okay uh, in the khatter government as well as in the new cabinet as well while the jjp has been dumped okay. but dumped with an intent to divide the okay. jat vote okay to bring in uh, neeraj mishra of the congress uh, neeraj you heard what Uh, the bjp has had to say and what some of our political analysts have also had to say the fact that this was probably a very well calculated move uh, and that it in fact puts the congress party in trouble uh, when it becomes a three way contest in haryana uh, what is, how does the congress respond to that devika before commenting on what is going to happen in the future let me just establish one fact that haryana as a state has its unique identity which identifies itself with its kisan its jawan and its pehlwan and manohar lal khattar's government was a failed government on all three fronts for the jawans it is the state which has the highest number of unemployed in this country a state having 37.8% unemployment and then for the jawans you had a chief minister who did not even utter a single word when the daughters of that state were protesting against a sexual predator who happens to be a member of parliament from the bjp and when it comes to the kisan like rightfully ganendra ji said the brute force with which the government was dealing has actually led to today's decision of kicking out a failed chief minister in that state when it comes to the future now we are at the pedestal of having elections in next 2 3 months and today when you have a senior bjp leader like anil vij who used to be a lone warrior for the bjp skipping the oath ceremony of this new chief minister which happens to be a member of parliament which signifies that all other legislators in the assembly did not deem anybody fit to lead the state and now the central uh, agent so the central uh, uh, party and the bjp central authority has deputed someone who is not even part of that legislation that legislative assembly so we are here clearly telling you that the people of haryana who have found themselves betrayed for last 10 years have made up their minds that the kisan the pehlwan and the jawan of the haryana will be voting for congress because congress is talking about nyay whether it is for the yuva whether it is for the jawans whether it is for the sportsmen and especially for the kisans so today we are on the brink of forming the new government in next 3 4 months whenever the election will be there we will have a clear cut congress majority government in the state Okay, Rajat Panjeta uh, of the INLD also with us. Rajat, what do you make of the developments that have happened, and how do you see uh, now also for your party uh, the impact of what has happened today? No, uh, what has happened today uh, is uh, uh, the outcome of non-performance of this BJP government, who had put Haryana under uh, uh, around four lakh crores of debt. and uh, which has failed on every front uh, you talk about guest teachers they are on strike doctors they, they are on strike anganwadi they are on strike roadways they are on strike after that uh, uh, sarpanch they had uh, uh, the government had uh, lati charged them then these clerks they were lati charged after that uh, kisans uh, they are uh, firing upon them with tear gas and bullets as well uh with drones with the help of drones and uh, the uh, you can see the amount of concrete and barricading they have done uh, uh in the haryana and punjab's uh, shambhu border after that spokesperson uh, a sportsman uh, uh, my fellow mr neeraj has already talked about that so uh, this is the outcome of non performance and the survey which was done by the bjp party itself what was the need of changing the cm just uh when you are you know uh, about to enter the lok sabha elections and in some uh, like couple of days there will be a uh, code of conduct uh, 
so uh, what was the need and urgency that uh, one at one point of time you say mr khattar is very good mr khattar performance is very good that there was something drastic which was in the survey report that bjp is losing uh, immensely not five i think more than five seats they will be losing in haryana and uh, you cannot hide uh, whatever you have done in haryana in past nine and a half years there are lot of scams in haryana registry scam is there paddy scam is there uh, 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 liquor scam is there so there are lot of uh, uh, yes there is a resentment uh, amongst the whole uh, society in haryana uh, so uh, it is the one of the worst governments which haryana had seen because there are lot uh, there are lot of communal disharmony uh, since the bjp came in the power Okay. You, uh, you cannot forget the Jat Andolan. What they had uh, 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 done in that, more than uh, 80 to 90 people were uh, shot down from police bullets. Uh, you know the whole uh, Rotak and Jajal was burned down. You have uh, recently seen what happened in Nuu, and because of Nuu, what happened in Gurga, Guru Gram, what happened in Palwal, Faridabad. Yeah. Uh, 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 before that, you have seen in Panchkula what happened. Uh, that uh, Dera Satcha Soda episode. Uh, 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 there was one episode in Barwala as well. Uh, uh, so uh, there a uh, lot of uh, uh, communal disharmony, uh, caste politics. So people are like uh, fed up now from this government. And uh, uh, there were a couple of things which my uh, fellow colleagues were talking about. Uh, one was saying there is a smooth trans- uh, transaction uh, transition when uh, BJP changes uh, their CM. Yes, because you are in power. So okay. uh, there is uh, there, uh, 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 on this mood when you will be out of the power, you, even you will say all this, and you were saying that uh, 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 fr- by this move you can combat uh, anti-incumbency. No, you cannot uh, ca- uh, combat anti-incumbency just by changing a right. CM gonna... face at the last moment. Okay. I totally disagree with that. And one more thing. Uh, uh he was saying that uh, uh, jjp will dent and uh, jat votes or, or or whatever votes uh, look jjp came into power by criticizing bjp they criticized bjp in all fronts yes they they yes and, and after that they joined hands with bjp now they have lost that voter as okay. well and people okay. very well know the true face of bjp okay i'm going to jjp and what jjp will do if they vote for jjp they will again go to bjp okay But, i'm going to uh, voters are very smart they will not uh, uh, no uh, they cannot you cannot right. uh, uh, combat anti incumbency just by changing face or switching parties or uh, exiting out uh, uh, bailing you out Right, so right, right. Okay, okay. I've under- okay understood your point. I'm going to give Renu Bhatia a chance to respond, and I'm going to bring in our analysts as well. Uh, yes, Dr. Bhatia, really, go ahead, please. It's really very shocking that how Rajat could talk about. He's a very good orator. That's what I found. But how he could say all these things about bjp when his own party is shattered in the family itself and um, they talk about jat votes ki uh, bjp will divide the jat votes that's what the policy was that's why they changed the face i don't know how they talk about these things when they in themselves in their within their own party within their own family divide the votes Uh, of jats in okay. the family itself now uh, i was listening to the congress uh, pravakta he uh, i found him also speaking very well but i wonder how they forget their own times when 10 years they had sarkar and they did not think about neither jats neither um, kisan neither jawans nothing they did neither pehlwans they never gave any um, good reward after getting um the medals uh, internationally they never look back for them ki okay. how they earn how they work they never looked at kisan msp ka rate kya hoga kya nahi hoga uska uh, ganne ki kheti mein kya nuksan hua they never thought about that now they're speaking they never thought about jawans for 10 years ki haryana se sabse zyada jawan fauj mein jate hain what about them what about their um, pensions what about their future what about their career of their families in right. future so how they talk right now i wonder and if we take 
if we say that changing faces won't make a meaning we have never thought of changing faces it a party karyakarta who has been shifted and uh, as my um, uh, one of my okay. colleagues said ki uh, uh, saini is also not a um, small karyakarta he is given 30 34 years to bjp so it is not that he is not a um, correct person to be placed there party has same ravaiya same um, okay of okay every All karyakarta right. to be placed anywhere and they have given him an opportunity to work it's it's not right. a bad thing which party has done to okay it. 30 seconds to neeraj mishra then i need to wrap up i i just wanted to say that reno ji you are very senior you should not suffer from the selective amnesia you should understand in the 10 years of hoda's government and the congress government in haryana the entire ecosystem for development was created whether it was for the sportsmen whether it was the development of uh, uh, satellite cities like gurgaon hisa rota jaja all these development happened during the congress regime and it was very clear that the people of haryana found themselves fooled when an incompetent leader like manohar lal khatta came to the power and what uh, the nld spokesperson was saying was perfectly right that a repackaged failed product will not succeed in the market it is very clear that haryana government has lost its trust and if you repackage it multiple times also then you are not going to seek votes no, neither on the name of mr khatta neither on the name of mr saini and most importantly neither on the name of mr modi okay all right unfortunately i have completely run out of time uh, that's uh, uh, but i thank all of our panelists for joining us to take this conversation forward interesting developments uh, have taken place in haryana for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon